Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato. This is EU4 Mandate of Heaven playing, of course, as Ming, because that's the only people that we can actually play as since we're so darn terrible at, terrible, terrible at the video game. Uh, anyway, yes, colonization is underway right now. It's going to take a wee while, but no bother. Uh, now, if we look over here, we can see that unrest is starting to build. I'm actually going to send a mission over here. It's going to take him about three years in order to do that. Uh, Chigati are no longer able to contribute. They will instead send us three money per year. Okay, well, that's not a big deal. But I imagine Chigati got fucked. Seemingly so. Do these guys want to become a tributary Uzbek? You damn right you do. Fucking hell. Mamluks, do they want to become a tributary? Unfortunately not. Shame shame about that. Uh, colonial range, yeah, we're not going to take that. We chatted a little bit about, about why uh, in the last episode. Korea's opinion of Ming has changed by plus 50. I mean, it's already really unbelievably high, so it doesn't particularly matter. Truth, truce with Chigati has ended. Now, my bunch of folk are exploring. My explorer group is exploring. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to send these guys into port over here just now. And we're actually going to take some more soldiers down to our newly colonized area, just so that if any uh, locals do rise up, um, then we'll be able to, to, to deal with that. So, there's a 1% chance per month of a native uprising. 1% uh, chance is... It's not nothing. It's not, it's not mathematically nothing, but it's pretty goddamn close. Uh, Ming loses core, loses their claim, seed. Uh, no, it's mine. Fuck you. I want to keep my prestige. Yarklin gets a bunch of liberty desire, but I mean, like, who really gives a shit anyway, right? All I do is pop on an improved relation, head on over to subjects, pay him off. Bestow gifts, bestow gifts, bestow gifts, bestow gifts, triple bestow gifts. Oh no, I ended up spending 45 ducats there, and now I've reduced two countries' liberty desire by over 50% each. Well, not over combined. Y you get the picture. Um, what was the button that I used to attach to transport? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now, go here. Perfect. Happy days, happy days, happy days. Give me a mission that doesn't suck and that is to do with colonize that isn't to do with colonizing. Where is this place? Mag Mag Magbuino. No, I don't want to colonize this or Bhutan or fucking Taiwan or anything. I mean I do. I do, don't get me wrong, I absolutely do, but I don't want to do it now. Not interested in doing it now. All right, we're actually doing some pretty legit exploring, which is relatively fun. Uh, Zero percent monthly attrition rate. I'm pretty certain that that's down to the fact that we have the specific mission that allows us to uh, that allows us to explore. I say mission. You know what I mean. I'm pretty sure it is a mission, actually. Yeah, it is a mission. Anyway. Good exploring that we're uh, that we're seeing happening here. We're gonna try and find Australia. Australia might. We're gonna try and find uh, Australia as soon as possible. Let's do hunt pirates. This trade node. I'm pretty sure that there is some pirates over there. Is there a way that I can check? No, there's not really any pirates over there. Not really any pirates over there either. And there's not really any pirates over there either. Good. Good to know. Good to know that there's no pirates anywhere. But you know what? At least we'll run some, I don't know, drills or something. Uh, we're also hoping that our uh, leader is going to die relatively soon, actually. You finished exploring. Oh, jolly good old chap. Uh, explorers ready. Well, let's go on another mission to explore then, shall we? Uh, South China Sea Coast, sure. I imagine that we will be done relatively quickly. Um, that's the plan, anyway. Maybe when we finish colonizing this, this will give us some more explorer missions. I imagine that that's probably what's going to happen. Man, colonizing is a slow business at the start of the game. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, so we could abdicate our current leader, or as in our current leader could actually abdicate, but honestly... 
just fucking die, please. Dear God, just die, please. Just let the consort take over, let your your heir take over, and we're gonna be fine. Look, your the heir is so good. He's so good. He's so unbelievably good. Um, plus, we can get the Forbidden City, which will give us stability cost modifier and yearly prestige. Not like it really matters. It's something to throw our money at, right? Like, let's let's look at the positives. Let's look at the positives. God damn, the institution tech penalty is killing me. I say killing me. It's not really killing me, but it's it's, it's hurting. It's hurting, that's for sure. All right. Hey, hey, we found Australia. We found Australia. Good news. Oh, no, ill news. Promising land. Great. A uh, general died. It's fine. Doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter. It all matters, but... Uh, uh, Karadel declared war on Mongolia. That's going to be a big one, actually. It's going to be a really big one. Uh, we have gained the forced tributary state against Ternate Tidor. Where's that? Ah, these are the ones next door. Military level 6. They would totally become my tributary. I mean, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to, to worry about... Why would I want to worry about them when I can just ask them to become a tributary? Also, will this... Will this, like, reset the distance between border thing? So technically, like, here. Is this the same country? Yeah, okay. Is Brunei is the same country? Established tributary. Distance between borders is a little bit of a negative development. Uh, is a little bit of a negative, what you may call it. But if we actually stop them from having a neutral attitude towards us, then they definitely become our tributary. Works for me. Explorer ready. Keep on exploring. East China Sea. Sure. That's grand. You're still converting. What is the unrest chance? It's not super high, but it's not super low either. Would you become my tributary? You fucking would as well. Holy shit. Everyone wants to become my tributary. I imagine that we've now got a negative tributary modifier. Well, apparently we don't. Uh, you would definitely become my... Holy shit. Everyone wants to become my tributary. Yeah, you're a little bit too far away. But if we colonize, like, over here... Then that will mean that we can now tributary all of these dudes. That actually might be worth doing. Like, placing a strategic colony in order to get closer to tributing. Tributing? You know what I mean. Getting getting, in, uh, getting closer to uh, tributing a bunch of people. <laughs> tributing. I, I didn't use the right word, but then I just used it straight away. So I guess it doesn't particularly matter. Please, leader, dear god, you're 60 years old. Just fucking die. Just fucking die. It still does say that we will lose legitimacy, but that's that must be a bug, I think. Like, I'm 90% sure that that is actually a just a straight-up bug. Okay, is there any parts of Australia that are quite nice? Fucking hell, they're all very aggressive, aren't they? You finished the mission to explore? What the fuck is happening? Um... Do you want to become my tributary? You kind of do, don't you? Holy shit. Uh, improve relations with Brunei. Yeah, let's get rid of that nonsense. That, we're just improving relations with our neighbors, so that's not a big deal. Revolt. Great. Let's improve relations with these guys as well. Uh, why are my ships all the way up here? Hmm, weird. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we've got a pretty good understanding of what is going on in the region, so that's very, very exciting indeed. Uh, yes, I know we can get that piece of technology, but I really don't want to. Renaissance not embraced. My god. At least we get a nice healthy negative modifier, right? I, I guess. If you can look at the positives like that. We're really quite low on mandate. When does this run out? 
85. We got seven more years of good taxes and stuff like that. And after that, we can actually use our military power to strengthen government, which is not something that I realized that we could do up until the last episode, so. With time. With time, we'll get there. Indeed. Looks like you just got a, a little bit of an upgrade. Nice to see. Now, you'll probably... As soon as this neutral attitude is gone, you're coming on board. You are coming on board quite, kind of soon, actually. That's good. Uh, Yarkland. Yeah, we don't need to improve with Yarkland anymore. We can just try and tributary up some more people. Because you would become a tributary right now, wouldn't you? You're very fucking close, that's for sure. We'll get you to... Yeah, we'll improve relations with you. Yeah, you would become a tributary right now. Alright, perfect. Great. They might be useful. Oh, beautiful colonist rush. How long is that for? 10 years. Settler chance, plus 5%. Global settler increase, plus, uh, plus a little bit as well. Nice, 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 nice. I wonder how it assesses the tributary states. I presume it... I presume the number... 0 0.19 evaluates how strong countries are. I wonder what basis it evaluates the country on. Because there must be some way to gauge how much a tributary is actually worth. I just don't know what it is. Uh, their, their thing is now 25%. Oh, that doesn't really matter. Chart has been added to our maps. Good. Lovely. Is that still... Terra Incognita? Okay. That sucks. Uh, so is that the... All of the missions done? I mean, I can... Technically... Ah, uh, we need, we need range, apparently. Okay. That's fine. Well, just go and park up over here. That's great. Just go park up over there for now and chill out for a little bit. You can have a little bit of a holiday. Military leader has left us. We have literally no military leaders. Literally no military leaders. When do we finish with this harmonizing bollocks? It must be kind of soon. 66%. 66% fucking percent. And we're still not done. We can upgrade technology. Wow, we can get the next level of admin tech. It would give us a second idea group. We take it now, right? Yeah, let's take it. Do we want something to do with trade? Do we want, like, money? National tax modifier? I'm thinking economic ideas might not be the most terrible thing here, because that gives us construction. I don't care about... Well, I care about yearly inflation, I suppose. Interest per annum, don't care about. Monthly autonomy change, that's kind of nice. Land maintenance modifier, also kind of nice. Production efficiency, that's kind of nice. Expansion ideas. Could go for expansion ideas, right? Like, expansion ideas, the other uh, group that gives you colonists. We could be colonizing the entire world. Global settler increase, that's quite nice as well. Organized recruitment, not that interested. Diplomatic relations, it's all right. Shipbuilding, that's all right. Global trade power. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I was thinking about picking something, uh... I was thinking about picking Humanist for a little bit, because that's, you know, that's that's okay. And it gives you, at the end, yearly harmony increase. Now, that's quite nice. Um, but... I just don't care that much. I just do not care that much at all. There's nothing that gives you extra number of states, is there? I'm pretty certain that there's not. Administrative tech costs, interest per annum, income from vassals. I'm pretty certain that tributaries don't count as vassals. They count as subjects, but not vassals. So that is rather annoying. Uh, chance of new air, yearly prestige, aggressive expansion impact, diplomatic reputation. Envoy travel time. I mean, it might be worth it just for the fucking envoy travel time, but I'm pretty sure you can get that in Diplo ideas as well. I thought you could get that in Diplo Ideas. Maybe I'm just going crazy. We can't pick it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 
Um, so it's really between... It's really between... Not admin ideas. Expansion ideas. Or economic ideas. Religious ideas as well would be kind of nice. Does this actually ever give us harmony? Ah, yeah, so this gives us the permanent CB against neighboring heathens and heretics. Interesting. I, you know, part of me says economics ideas is nice, but expansion ideas, I mean, fucking expansion ideas, gives us an additional merchant, and there's already a trade node with which we don't have a merchant on. You know what I mean? So, honestly, I'm thinking expansion ideas, economic ideas, trade ideas, that's the, you know, the rough order, really, that we shall... Uh, pursue our goals in. That's the plan, anyway. We're still waiting for the big Diplotech 6, which will give us shipyards. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And we can steal maps. Am I excited? Uh, if we were to recall our settler here, what is he actually bringing? 25% chance to increase the population by 25. Growing the population. The colonist working here. It will continue to grow. Although it might trigger a native uprising. I don't actually care if, if we trigger a native uprising. What's it... What's it going to increase at now? Is it still 40 per year? Then that's fine. That's completely okay. It means we can start work in Australia, right? What's our colonial range? Uh, it might not be quite long enough. Although we did get a couple of modifiers that helped us out. It's our colonial range. Effective distance, colonial range is 160. Alright, let's do two things. First of all, let's check the missions. There's no current missions, really. If we were to take the colonial range plus 50%, our, col our current colonial range is 160. If we took that perk, we could actually get to Australia. We'd have to go here. But it would actually work. It still counts as tropical though, unfortunately. I think we take it, actually. I didn't originally anticipate on doing this, as you probably know. We were going to wait for... Diplotech, but... Maybe we just take it and pop on over here. Yeah, let's take it. There we go. It's just, it's within four units of our colonial range. Uh, let's swap off there. Yeah, so this is also on the colonial... Uh, why the fuck are we going there? Go here instead, buddy. It's a hell of a lot better. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to do, pretty easy to conquer, shouldn't be too difficult at all. Uh, explorer ready, uh, is there any more explore missions? Oh, awesome, there is, because of course our, uh, our range increased. Let's get, just, I just, just start doing all of them, I, I, I suppose, no real rush. Unfortunately, that does mean that Shipyards uh, has been somewhat delayed, and I am a little bit disappointed about that because I did really, really, really want to get it. Although now it's only been put off by a bit. It's not been put off permanently, I suppose, which is which is fine. Um, yeah, it's not a big deal that it was delayed, but it still kind of sucks. We're still, we're still fucking loaded. When is my leader going to die? 62 years old. 62 years old, rewarding loyalty. Lose five... Ma wow. Sure. I'll lose 800 ducats. I mean, that's... 800 ducats is nothing. I mean, it's... Well... It's a, it's a bit... It's a chunk of change, but it's, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Uh, okay, so do we have anyone that wants to become a tributary now? Who the fuck are you? I don't even know where these guys are, but I'm going to assume that they all want to become tributaries. They're all fucking pagans, so... 
better they become tributaries than actual vassals or whatever. My god, this takes a long time. Chartered area has been added to our maps. Great. Let me just first of all deal with this nonsense. You accepted tributary state. You can go on another little quest. Go to South Indian Ocean. I mean, I don't really care about that. Northwest Pacific. North West, like this area. Maybe find Hawaii. Eastern Indian Ocean, Southwest Pacific. Southwest Pacific is the one that we want, right? Yeah, Southwest Pacific, because that's down here. Yeah, cool. Do that. Go and do that, Explorer. I don't even know where you are right now. Where did I even send you to? Did I send you to explore here? Yeah, I sent you. Oh, you're, you're there. Okay, so I sent you to explore this area, and now you're not doing that. That's fine. Uh, reform C-Band, one diplomat, trade efficiency plus 5%. The additional diplomat will actually be really, really nice. Uh, you are almost ready to accept a tributary, but not quite yet. We're working on it. And you are still, we're still working on you as well. You're already a tributary. You're already a tributary. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Distance between borders, a little bit annoying there, but uh, but no worries. Okay, 35 settlers a year. That's impressive, actually. Very impressive. Colonial enthousi enthusiasm, plus 25%. Lovely, lovely, lovely. How much are we paying for colonies right now? It's probably four or five ducats, six ducats. It's fine. It's not the end of the world at all. I do enjoy spending a lot of money on colonies. But if I'm not mistaken, the amount of money that colonies uh, cost increases exponentially. So first of all, it costs two, then it costs four, then it costs eight, then it costs 16, then it costs 32. And they all, they all add up, so, you know, big money. Oh, great, gain a thousand ducats. I mean, that's gonna, gonna keep me going for a while. It's gonna, it's gonna keep me going for ages. Um, What's our, what's our fleet like? Do we can, we, can we get any more fleet ships, ship fleets? No, we can't, unfortunately, which means that I'm going to have to get my pirate slaying fleet, which currently doesn't slay any pirates, uh, to come and collect some more troops, because we're going to take them down to Straya, Mike. We're going to take them down to Straya. And we're going to do that in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This has been EU4 playing, of course, as Ming, and I'll see you next time. Bye.